here is Yi. Today I will make a Bavarian roast chicken and for holiday seasons instead of uh, turkey because it's hard to get turkey in Germany but chicken, you can get really good chicken from France or from Deutschland. So it's a rosemary roasted chicken. It's good for dinner and for a family meal. We'll need a whole chicken around one kilo to one and a half kilo. So here is one from Frankreich, France. Bonjour, s'il vous plaît. And it is nicely cleaned and dried. Now we need to find the asshole putting our parsley leaves into the asshole of our chicken. Just stuck it in. <laughs> okay, good. Now our chicken is filled. For outside to make our skin nice and crispy, we need some sea salt. So for this size of chicken, we will need about two teaspoons. So we're just kind of wrapping the salt onto our chicken. So every corner. Once our chicken is properly salted, we can also put in paprika powder and here is the sweet paprika powder just also on top and wrap it in both sides so just wrap around everywhere don't forget the armpits of our chicken black pepper both sides now we need a bit of raspberry and just open it up and we're going to tear the leaves we'll need quite a lot of raspberry leaves and we're going to stack our raspberry on the, the skin of our chicken so not at the back but the chest so i guess here is the chest and we have to find the opening here if you could see and just try to find the gaps between your chicken breasts and the skin and so not just the skin here but also uh, around the legs. Once you find the gap, it's not that difficult to just stick your finger in between. And then you can do this gently by opening it bigger. You have to just go with the flow. So around the body, around the chest. So once you open it up big enough and not breaking it, you can put in the raspberry. So I tear a bit more rosemary here and I open up the skin. Sometimes if you, like me, who has a really short finger, it's a bit difficult. You just have to give your middle finger goes deep in and it opens it up. Here, these two legs as well, opens it up a bit. Now we can just stuck in our raspberry carefully don't break our skin try to put them deep inside it's almost like a pocket i stuck all the ras raspberries in between the skin and the chest now we can close the chicken fit everything back in again now heating our pan and putting a bit of oil I'll just use regular vegetable oil okay. now our pan is also hot we're going to take our chicken and lay down the side of the chest 
on our pan and frying it. While pan frying our chicken, we can heat up the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. We just need to wait until it is cooked. So you can dip it up and then have a quick look, see how it looks like. Now you can see the chicken breast side is turning to a whiter and then golden brown color. Means the skin is sealed. Then we can transfer our chicken into our oven. Chicken chest side on top and put the back side on the bottom. And we're going to cook this in the oven for 45 to 15 minutes. While roasting this, we can brush a bit of uh, melted butter on top. And then put it back up. So here is the sauce, the leftover sauce we have from roasting our chicken. And now we're going to make a sauce. And we're going to dilute this with a quarter of cold water. And we're going to bring this to boil. Once our sauce starts boiling, we can add in a bit of salt and pepper. Here is my roasted chicken after 15 minutes and here is the sauce. Wow, amazingly good. Just like the one you will get outside from a restaurant. And really good sauce. And here is the leg. I like the knuckle part and my husband like the chicken breast. So we have... Mmm! It's 100 times better than KFC, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> different kind of chicken. But this is really good, you can smell the raspberry and the chicken outside the skin is crispy, inside it's totally juicy. When you cut it, the sauce just running out here, all over the table. So, if you like this recipe, Please give me a thumb up and leave your comments below. If you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks for watching.